Hey you guys and welcome back to Kagyosama Lovers War Ultra Romantic where things definitely got spicy last week with not only the introduction of a love triangle but the most sloppy smooch smooch macaroni I think we've ever gotten to the point it needed to be censored. So things are definitely getting wilder and I can't wait to see what we'll get into this time. So without further ado let us jump into episode 4. Ooh. Hmm. Okay, Shigami, I'm feeling a little bit of um hostility there. Um, do you want to talk about that? What in the world was laser death beam? I mean, fair enough. I don't know why they were back in the student council room, but I'm assuming they just came back in um to show off their censorship. <laughs> it looks like based on the start. This might actually be a Ishigami and Kaga focus episode. Now we fun. I don't think we've had them slowly, solely together. So yeah, that'll be interesting. Let's get into it. What is this laser death move? Ooh. That might be dangerous. Mm hmm So that's the one that's on... Yep. <laughs> oh... It's with my senpai. What? Of course you do. Eh? You gotta love when Kage looks like that. <laughs> Eh. Eh. I mean, Shigami's got good looks and good personality. Why are you shooting at yourself? Yeah, talk to her. True. No, 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 no need, no need to. Put yourself down like that. Yes. Yeah, and I think that upsets those that care about you. Huh? Ooh, you already have a way to confess. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Ultra romantic confession. They just said the title of the anime. This is about to get real. Uh huh. Oh, that is. Yeah. Yeah, it could come off more horrifying. Hmm. I I don't think I would have caught on to the riddle. No, maybe not. Maybe something more genuine? From like the heart, I mean. Mm. Uh huh. No, 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 no. I think they can be great, but more so if they're going out. Is someone here? I feel like she's talking about someone very specific here. Yes. Of course not. <laughs> Power. No. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Intellectual cloud. Top fifty. Um, this seems like a very long training arc to a confession. Ooh, and for yourself too, maybe. Of lies and truth episode. Part one. Ooh. Final exams already here. That is a lie. Number one again. Fair enough, fair enough. Ooh, okay. He's a little distracted. He's gorgeous. Or maybe this girl. Oh no, you gotta put that away, sweetie. <laughs> to reply mode.
<laughs> Lies. Because she can go blast. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, that sounds like the truth. No, that is a lie too. Chica. Starting at home too. No. I think he's going to give it us all. Go, go, Ishikami. Don't worry, the power of love. We're given the boost. Oh, that's a new look. Shut up, you dumbass. Why is that written on your wall? No, nope, no, nope, put it down. It's 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 the power of love. R right? No? Well so eyes that propel him. Top 50 students. What happens if he came in at 51? No, I think. Is he gummy? I don't know, he he tried really hard. It does not matter. Kid gloves. Oh, Kagya. Mm. Congrats. Huh? No wonder you came in second. <laughs> But what lies in bitterness ends? Well done, you two. Well deserved. I mean, is she going from 177 to 150 is quite big in itself. Oh, 
that would be quite nice. Would he let us guard down like that though? Yeah? Wait, and the others couldn't make it? Mr. Hart. What? Right, 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 right. Yeah, I was just like, that looks exactly... <laughs> Damn. The crybaby works that list just for fun. Whoa, right, okay. There are times. Yeah, probably from the panic. Chica's imagination go wild. We're getting into such a messy background story, I can't keep up. Aww. I'm glad they're having fun. Is she about that? We're close, we're close. You really you can't? Eleven PM. <gasps> After twelve AM. How preposterous. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is dangerous. This is really dangerous. You guys should come over too. Ooh. A scent of love sickness. I wonder who that might be. Ooh. Kaiga, stay with us. <gasps> oh no. Oh no.
Oh, we went into baby mode, Kagura. <gasps> On three? She fell asleep. She fucking fell asleep. That was the best cliffhanger ever. The bait. A huge reset. Oh my god, Chica, what's wrong? Chica! <laughs> yeah, that was definitely a big win by Kaguya. Ooh, definitely gotta go back and read on that. Oh my god, I love Chica. She's so, she's so troll. She's so troll because her nosebleed would have stopped because her imagination was going that wild. Um, shipping kind of Mr. Um, Hatikawa as well as um, Prez. That's spicy. All that aside though, can we talk about the um, intense heart feel of an episode we honestly actually got into in regards to Ishigami? I don't know. I started tearing up there because like Ishigami, you know, we had his amazing arc in season two and that's why this episode honestly hit in the feels again, especially because I think it's really relatable. I mean, Ishigami, I think has always been a very relatable character. I mean, I think everyone has gone through a stage in life where they give it like their thousand percent, the hundred percent and they expect these results, but you don't. And it's so frustrating. It's so bitter. But at the same time, I absolutely loved how all Ishigami needed was someone to to believe in him. that's all he needed because during that moment like I didn't know what the right words to say like I felt like I need to cheer Ishigami up but I didn't feel like I had the rights to I wanted to tell him like something good like you know I'll just give it another shot but I just didn't feel like that was sincere so I kind of didn't have any words but then Kaguya what a fantastic way Kaguya handled the situation like Ishigami didn't need words of encouragement there he just needed someone to believe in him because no one else has kind of done that for him before and it links back to obviously the confession and the reason why we're studying so hard is because you know Kaguya believes that he can he can confess to the senpai and he deserves to confess and that's all like Ishigami really needed to hear like you know that support that encouragement and that belief in Ishigami is all he ever really needed but it's a really simple thing but something that Ishigami has never gotten and that's why this episode I didn't expect it to just like hit me in the face with the feels like that all of a sudden but they really did and I really do hope we continue that journey and development with Ishigami because honestly he is such a great character and they also showed how much of a fantastic character Kaguya is as well. So with that can't wait to see what next time will be all about so until then make sure you guys are awesome and I'll definitely catch you guys for episode 5.